Between Scene October, Ceramic Pumpkin Box. Hi, tweens. Today we're going to paint a ceramic pumpkin box, and I'm just going to give you some tips for um, painting it because it's pretty straightforward. In your kits, you'll find a plastic wrap ceramic box shaped like a pumpkin. You'll also have some orange paint, some brown and green paint. I put mine on a paper plate, but you're welcome to um, leave it in the pots. You'll also have a brush and a couple of Q-tips. Now, this ceramic absorbs paint very quickly. So um, it dries pretty quickly, and you'll be able to um, complete this uh, thing pretty fast. And uh, you should have enough paint to make a, to do two layers if you want to. So just using nice even strokes, putting in the orange. I'm trying to kind of hold this by the tip of the, the uh, stem for the pumpkin. Putting on a first coat here. I'm not painting the bottom or the inside of my box but you're welcome to do that if you want. It just, I would wait and allow the outside to dry before you try to paint the inside. Just going all the way around here. I'm using the edge of my brush to get the edge of the top of the pumpkin there. And trying not to get it all over my fingers, which is always a challenge when I paint. I like the foam brush for this because you're able to get edges pretty clean. All right, while that dries, I'll work on the lid. And again, I'm just doing the top and sides of the lid. I'm not doing the inside. But you should have enough paint that you can go back and do the insides if you would like. Now pumpkins have kind of a brown green stem depending on the time of the year and how close to ripe you pick them. So that's why I gave you some brown and green paint. You can do one color or the other, or you can kind of blend them to make a little layered look, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. All right, so while those are drying, I'm going to get started. I'm going to use my Q-tips to paint the stems because um, they're so tiny. So I'm just starting with the green. I'm just going to do a little layer of green. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go over it with some brown and kind of get it to streak. So it looks like a more of a realistic stem. If you need to, you can kind of squish your Q-tips, um, your cotton swabs end to make it a little flatter to get the edges a little bit better. And if you get any paint on the orange part, you can always go back and touch that up later. You can see my lid's almost already dry. I'm able to pick it up without getting any orange all over my fingers. If your Q-tip end starts to get frayed, then you can switch to the other side. 
You shouldn't need more than two for this. One for each color. Almost done with the green here. Got a little bit in there. All right. Now I'm going to get some of the brown. That's pretty much dry. So see what I mean about it drying pretty fast? Because I don't want to just completely overload it, I'm just going to use a tissue and dab my brown on that first so that I can just kind of give it a little streak over the green. So the green still shows through some. So it looks more like a realistic stem. So you can dab it on a tissue or a paper towel or your paper plate so that you don't have a big clump of brown on your, on your Q-tip. So this way I'll end up with a greenish brownish stem. I'm just going to touch up any spots that I may have gotten other colors on. It's got a lot of little green on there. And just a little touch up on the lid. There you go. I hope you enjoyed painting your pumpkin box. That's all for this month. See you next time, tweens.